these are 20 times football fans went too far. This happened, and it appears most of the car owners didn't even know their cars were on fire. At first, one fan was so hyped about the World Cup, he decided to visit every single game, all 64 of them. But I don't understand why he got this haircut. Okay, at least our night himself approved. That guy's a legend, but this next dude has zero chill. <laughs> Jesus, that guy needs some anger management, but that TV can be replaced. Unlike this guy's butt, <laughs> I can see the resemblance. Just like for Neymar's clone? Yeah, this doppelganger has taken the internet by storm. It made an entire career just looking like Neymar. 1.2 million on Instagram, 3.4 on TikTok, and he even copied all of Neymar's tattoos. <laughs> Foto aqui, foto aqui, eu fui entrando na brincadeira, aí fiz o Moicano, aí na, na rua a galera já pediu pra tirar foto. E aí foi, foram surgindo os trabalhos, foi uma coisa muito simultânea, assim. Hey, what a legend. But being a pro can also be dangerous, because Messi's life is often in danger. After winning the World Cup for the first time in 36 years, everyone in Argentina lost their mind. And when Messi and the rest of the team were driving around Buenos Aires to celebrate, it quickly escalated. Four million people were out on the streets and surrounded the bus, so the police decided that it wasn't safe to stay there for one more second. Five choppers pulled up and flew the entire team out of there. Luckily, nobody got injured, unlike this dude at number 15. Hmm, he's clearly not the smartest. Even this eight-year-old is smarter. Damn, that kid took a risk right there. But at least it wasn't a risk that could lose you $160,000. When asking any football fan who would win a game between Argentina and Saudi Arabia, everybody would put their money on Argentina. It's gonna be like a practice match for us. Well, practice. Just a practice. I mean, Argentina is ranked as the second best country in the world, and Saudi is, um, ah, there it is, number 49. So one crazy fan thought he could get some easy cash and put 160 Gs on the line. And well, we all know how that game went down. But that bet wasn't as ridiculous as number 12, when a Barcelona fan acted a little sus as he was filmed giving his lady a kiss. Hmm, why pull back? That looks kinda awkward. She doesn't look too happy, and he looks like he was caught. Which he was! Oh, ho, ho, ho. that lady was not his wife. Now that's pretty awkward. But at least he didn't destroy his own body like this Feyenoord fan. See, in 2022, the club from Rotterdam was up against Roma in the final of the Conference League. This was a huge moment for the club, since they haven't won any European titles since 1970. Fans were so proud of their team, they could hardly control their excitement. And one fan was so confident in their victory, he already got a tattoo before the game started. Yeah, that's my club. But unfortunately for him, Zaniolo destroyed his dream. Zaniolo, And with that, we've made it to the top 10. So you're about to see some of the craziest fan moments in football history. And first up, I want to show you a super fan who takes club tattoos to a whole new level. We all know Toddy is a Roman legend and his goals have been watched by hundreds of millions of people. So it was no surprise when hardcore fans inked them on their body. Cav, wrist, arm, another calf? That's all relatively normal. But what Thomas Johnson did blows all of these out of the park. What? That's a super fan. Even Donnie was impressed. But it gets even crazier, because the next fan ended up in the hospital because of his love for Mo Salah. We all know the Egyptian goat is one of Europe's best players, which makes him incredibly popular among Liverpool fans. So when 11-year-old Louis spotted him, he didn't think twice. The car was like in front of me and then I hit this lamppost here. With your head? Yeah, with my nose, him <laughs> actually, and then I, I bounced off it. Ouch, I knocked him out. But luckily for him, Salah witnessed it all happening in his mirror and turned around to check on his fan, a legend. But some fans are even crazier and do everything to help out their team. That's a memorable way to invade the pitch, but not as memorable as number seven. When I show Speed thought he was finally going to meet his idol. We all know about his obsession with Ronaldo. Speed. Ah! Let's go! I mean, his song was even played at the World Cup. We made it, Chad! We made it! 
Not to mention the original video clip got 30 million views on YouTube alone. So when he thought he was finally gonna meet him. I'll open your eyes. Speed, welcome. Hey, at least he looked like him. But for number six, we got the worst nightmare of every football fan. It was the 2022 Champions League final, Madrid versus Liverpool. With only 75,000 tickets available and millions of people trying to get their hands on one, it was close to impossible to make it into the stadium. Hell, tickets that were originally priced between 70 and 690 euros were now being sold for up to 1,850 to 12,500 pounds on the resale sites. But fans who were crazy enough to pay that much money didn't even make it into the stadium. Thousands of fans without tickets climbed over the fences and ran past the stewards to secure themselves a spot, leaving those who actually bought a ticket helpless outside of the stadium. I've got an 82-year-old father-in-law here. Come here, let's just go, man. It's just, it's just mad. And look at what has happened. I am in tears. I have paid hundreds and hundreds of pounds to come to the game tonight. I'm not here with my brother. That's just painful. But not all moments on this list are bad, because sometimes fans go very far to show their love and compassion for others. Like these incredible Turkish fans who threw thousands of stuffed animals and toys on the pitch for kids that were hit by the earthquake. That beautiful gesture deserved a spot on our list. But number four isn't as beautiful, because instead of celebrating in a peaceful way, Moroccan fans in Amsterdam caused over $50,000 in damages. Morocco was up against Belgium in the group stage of the World Cup 2022. The odds weren't in their favor, since Belgium was one of the favorite teams to make it far into the tournament. So when they defeated the Red Devils 0-2, it went down. Fireworks everywhere. Scooters were set on fire, cars were set on fire, and the police wouldn't even step in. And to some residents, it seemed like a war zone. And that I just had to sit in my own house and sit in my own house because I couldn't go anywhere. But all right, it's time for the top three. So you're about to see some crazy stuff. At first, we got a moment so crazy, nobody saw it coming. On December 9th, 2022, Argentina was up against the Netherlands for a spot in the World Cup half final. And with over 88,000 attendants and 19.6 million people watching from home, it was the perfect opportunity for a ghost for the past to show his face again. Yeah, the OG YouTube prankster Vitaly still thinks streaking games is a smart way to gain followers, but unfortunately for him, it didn't go according to plan this time. What an idiot. Obviously, he posted a video about it, but it only got him 186,000 views, which is close to nothing when you compare it to his streaking video from 2014, with over 16 million. But that stunt wasn't as crazy as number two, when he got his girlfriend at the time to invade the Champions League final. Yeah, Kinsey Wolanski had around 300,000 followers on Instagram back in 2019, but that wasn't enough clout for her, so she decided to step into Vitaly's footsteps and also take a run for it. Yes! Yes! Game's gonna have to stop here because we have that someone on the pitch. After something that crazy, you'd think she would be in serious trouble. But instead, police officers wanted to take photos with her, and she was on the cover of every football magazine all over the world. On top of that, she also gained over 3 million followers on Instagram. Everyone loved her. Unlike number one, the day this guy became the most hated person in Everton history. What seemed like a normal game between the Toffees and Newcastle quickly hit the news as one of the strangest disruptions ever in the Premier League. My name's Louis McKechnie. I'm 21 years old. I'm about to disrupt a football match, and I'm terrified. Yeah, this dude actually decided to vlog the entire thing and preach about how the UK government should stop using oil. So minutes after the second half started, he slowly walked up to the goal, and as soon as he had the chance... I have never seen anything like this in my life. The dude actually used a metal enforced zip tie to make it harder to remove him. Louis definitely went too far. So he was given a six week prison sentence, a $550 fine, and a three year football ban. That was just ridiculous, but not as ridiculous as the time players drove a car onto the pitch. Or when a fan stole Anthony's jersey. So click the 20th most ridiculous moments in football history right here.